Thanks for tuning in to this weather briefing number two for the Atmospheric River. Expected between February 13th and 15th. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at National Weather Service San Diego office. All right, let's look at the latest satellite image that shows the water vapor. You can see as of Monday, there is a large area of tropical moisture south of Hawaii and starting to point northward into the Pacific as a deep low pressure area. Not showing up well on this map because there's not much moisture with it coming down from the north. However, the two will phase together and move towards Southern California in the next 48 hours. Now on the traditional water vapor imagery looking over the Eastern Pacific, you can see all that tropical moisture to the south with the yellow arrow and you can see also a deep low pressure area as labeled on here with the L. Now this is basically going to remain in place over the next 72 hours and this will allow the atmospheric river or the rich tropical moisture to move towards Southern California on Wednesday. We've been wet so far this year. This is the precipitation percent of normal since October 1st, the start of the official water year. You can see 110 percent of normal to as much as 150 percent of normal with the wettest areas being the San Diego County Mountains and much of Orange County into LA. Those areas up over 150% of normal or one and a half times normal rainfall. All right, uh, what do we expect this week? This is looking at the weather pattern using an ensemble of models, not one particular model. On Wednesday, the jet stream starts to focus on Southern California and upper level low pressure creating that flow sits to our north in the Pacific Northwest. That deepens on Thursday and that allows the flow to become stronger over our region and that'll really focus the transport of moisture over Southern California on Thursday. Now what happens late this week into the weekend? Well it's not over with but on Friday we see the jet stream focus remains over the Pacific Northwest in Northern California and we see the jet stream weaken a little bit over Southern California. Now as we get into the weekend, Saturday night into Sunday morning, we see colder air dropping across the Great Basin and eventually bringing a cold front through our region of Southern California, probably sometime Saturday night or Sunday morning. The atmospheric river, that's the main focus. The broad, large, warm front with strong winds and southwest flow will move in on Wednesday into central and even southern California as shown here. Now the core of it, so this means the heaviest rain looks to be uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning Valentine's Day and you see those darker shades of red moving towards southern California on the right hand side. The atmospheric river isn't gone but we do have a weak cold front that comes through on Thursday so that focuses the moisture plume across San Diego and Riverside County and starts to push it southward Thursday night. Now it could return a little bit it looks like there's some uncertainty but when uh, Thursday night into Friday looks like another return because deeper low pressure again sets up the final upper level trough sets up across the Pacific Northwest as shown here drawing some of that moisture back over our region on Friday. Now, some of our local computer models are showing some really intense rainfall across the region as shown here. Much of this to occur Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. So basically a 24 to 36 hour period. We often ask, you know, where are the coastal slopes? And the computer models show that this is very favored pattern for coastal slope heavy rainfall. In other words, any location across the valleys will receive one to three inches, but you can times that by three to five and the mountains will see that much more precipitation along those west facing, south facing slopes. The official forecast Wednesday through Friday paints a picture of widespread rainfall amounts of four to six inches along those coastal slopes with locally uh, eight plus. Now along the metro areas and the valleys, widespread inch and a half to as much as three inches. This is going to produce a lot of runoff. Even in our deserts, we see a half inch to an inch of total. 
And again, most of this rainfall is Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. You have a basically a 36 hour window of the intense rainfall. Again, Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. All right, here are some of the highlights for Wednesday and Wednesday night. Rain developing as early as the morning on Wednesday, becoming heavy at times Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. That's when we could see no break in the precipitation along some of the coastal slopes, such as San Bernardino and Orange County. And we could see some of the rates get up as high as 0.6 per hour Wednesday night. Most of the coastal slopes, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. Most of the metro areas, um, 0.1 to 0.2. So lighter rain in the metro areas. But even the metro areas will see an increase Wednesday night of 0.2 to 0.4 in some of the heavier rain. Winds will pick up. Winds will be a factor, especially Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. Um, not just the ridges, but also some strong wind gusts over 40 miles per hour on the coast. Snow levels look to be really high, getting up over 8,000 feet. So we're going to look at a scenario of rain on top of snow, resulting in significant runoff by Wednesday night and especially Thursday. Speaking of Thursday, that's when the atmospheric river slides down from central California and really focuses just on southern California. That should be our heaviest rainfall rates along the coastal slopes half inch to as much as 0.75 per hour along any of the coastal slopes from Orange, San Bernardino, Riverside, and San Diego. Now you also can see uh, along the coastal slopes we could see some wind gusts of 45 miles per hour that includes coastal metro areas and then along the ridges some wind gusts of 60-65 miles per hour. Strongest winds probably during Thursday morning. Now we do see the rain tapering off Thursday night and Friday morning, but by the time it does, because the snow levels are so high and we received so much rainfall uh, since Wednesday, significant river runoff is expected. So this is a scenario where the potential is there and a flash flood watch, not only for just the heavy rain burst, but also prolonged rainfall is expected to be issued. All right, here's the big picture of things and we expect rainfall along those coastal slopes that show up here in the red and the orange shade getting up around five to seven inches. Now for the metro areas in the purple shade and the valleys you can see it's anywhere from two to three inches. All right here's the grand summary of things. Atmospheric rivers the bottom line developing on Wednesday as early as the morning continuing at least through Thursday. Snow levels getting really high over 8,000 feet. Widespread precipitation Wednesday uh, heaviest Wednesday night and Thursday. So when are we going to see the heaviest rainfall rates? That looks to be Wednesday night into Thursday, especially Thursday morning. Steady to moderate rainfall along the coastal slopes, really kind of re relentless for about 36 hours of a quarter to half inch. Peak rates, again, look to be on Thursday, probably in the morning, up to 0.75. Now the metro areas, um, your rates are going to stay more around the 0.25 to 0.5 per hour, uh, even Thursday morning. Total rainfall along the coastal slopes, that'll be the San Bernardino, San Diego, Orange County of three to eight inches. Locally, in our wettest locations, up around 10. Now for the valleys and coast, looks like one to three inches. Spillover into deserts, about a half inch to an inch. Again, most of this rainfall is Wednesday and Thursday. We do see the chance for some rainfall continuing Thursday night into Friday, but it should be lighter precipitation um, and a drop to our snow levels. Now, finally, a cold front looks to move into the region probably late Saturday or Saturday night for showers and lowering snow levels down to 5,000 feet. But again, that's not till the weekend. All right, quick recap here. Check our webpage or Twitter at NWS San Diego for updates, weather.gov San Diego. When you get a flash flood warning, that's an urgent message, meaning it's imminent, already occurring, and it threatens property uh, or even lives. The flash flood watch means there's the potential and it hasn't yet flooded, or even the heavy rain might not have yet started. So the watch is well before the warning. The flood advisory, that is for short duration rainfall, low lying areas, flood prone areas, urban small stream, but it could be a problem if you don't take precautions. So the advisory is the lower end, but it could be a problem if you don't take precautions. I put some links on the screen here where you can monitor the rainfall, monitor the river levels, 
please visit those links uh, so you can get the latest information. Stay safe during this active weather pattern as it continues across Southern California for winter 2019.